Title, Davidson and Jost's High Seas Hijinks, A Staten Island Fairy Tale or Titanic Misstep. T.L.D.R. SNL alumni Pete Davidson and Colin Jost boarded $280,000 Staten Island Ferry in a haze of smoke and now, they're figuring out how to turn a hilarious joke into a profitable reality. The vision includes transforming it into an all-in-one entertainment hub. The question remains, will this turn into a treasure island or a sinking ship? Once upon a time, two merry pranksters from the lands of Saturday Night Live, Pete Davidson and Colin Jost, found themselves in a high-octane whimsy. The result? A $280,000 Staten Island ferry. But was it the high seas calling or just the high? Before long, the fantasy became a reality, and it seems that not even the sober light of day could make it disappear. So what do two comedians do when they find themselves owning a massive ferry with no real game plan? They go on a podcast and crack some jokes, of course exclamation mark. Remember when you used to buy dumb things when you were baked and then laugh it off the next day? Imagine waking up and finding a big old ferry parked in your driveway. You think, wait, did I buy a boat last night? Yep, welcome to Pete Davidson's world. Now, the real question is, can he sail out of this mess or will he need a lifeboat? Their mission, should they choose to accept it, is to turn this hilarity into a business model that includes an entertainment hub replete with a concert venue, a movie theater, a restaurant, and even hotel rooms. Can you imagine? It's like an amusement park that floats. Talk about riding the wave. The duo have reportedly commissioned computer-generated mock-ups of this multi-venue maritime dream, a project they say is well underway, although it's still a good five years away from completion. But we've got to ask, are they high on ambition or just still high? As this comedic odyssey unfolds, we are left wondering if the fairy tale of two comedians buying a ferry will turn into a profitable enterprise or just another punchline. Either way, it's an unforgettable sea adventure worth the price of admission. Or in their case, the cost of a $280,000 ferry. While the specifics of their maritime plan seem impressively detailed, Davidson jokingly admits, we are two idiots who bought a boat. Fair enough, Davidson. You certainly got our attention, and we're all aboard for this ride. But let's get serious for a moment. What does it mean when two successful comedians buy a ferry on a lark? Is it a testament to their carefree spirit, or is it a sign that they have more money than they know what to do with? What do you think? And what about you? If you had the money, what spontaneous purchase would you make? And how would you turn it into a profitable venture? Disclaimer, the above story is for entertainment purposes only. It does not provide investment advice. Do not take investment decisions based on this article. Always seek professional advice before making any financial decisions. And now we'll leave you with this thought, what does it mean to dream big? Is it about taking risks, or is it about laughing all the way to the bank?